and welcome along and welcome to this first look at RDC FS19. Uh, this is a map that is currently available on PC but should also be available uh, on console in the coming week. It was actually uh, it was actually initially released on console as well uh, but had issues with the upcoming update um, that's coming out on Tuesday so it will be re-released um, after the 1.4 update comes out on Tuesday. And, uh, and we're actually, yeah, we're causing a traffic jam here because this is where you start the map. And, and I, I need to, I need to go on about the genius of this, um, from the start. So you start the map at the, the Western side here. And if we bring up the map and I show you, it's really quite cool. So you start over here. Uh, at the entrance of the map, on the main road into the map. And there's no other roads. Oh, no, there are other roads that lead out. But there's only one other road that leads out by the looks of things. But I really like that. I love that you start, the first time you land in this map, you start as if you're coming onto the map. And you start with a truck here, which is pretty cool. I really, really like that. Um, we're not going to use this, though. We're going to use this. We have a 1970s Land Rover. This was done by Anglo Modding. Um, it's not widely released, uh, but it is quite cool. And uh, a huge thank you to him for uh, letting me have a play with this. So we're going to jump in this and we're going to go and have a look around the map. Uh, we're actually going to keep that truck stuck there. Uh, so yes, this is a Spanish map. Uh, it's been five years in development, this map, which is crazy. So this map first started being built probably towards the end of FS13, uh, which is mad. Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, I think we are going to go... There's not a lot of stuff in the middle of the map other than the main farmyard. So we'll probably end up in the main farmyard last. As a result, I am going to turn to the left first. Now, one of the interesting things I see on the map straight off is the number of animal dealers. There are six animal dealers on this map, uh, which is uh, which is somewhat crazy. Um, I can't figure out why that is the case. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm hoping they have different prices, maybe. But they are all... Which would be a cool thing. Which would be a really cool thing. One of the things about this map is... Stable sheet. Yeah. So we can... We have got pens and things straight off. But we can... Yeah, we, we've got lots of different animal dealers. So that would be interesting. It would be interesting to go round them and see if they have different bits. But it's... Uh, it's quite... Oop, an extraordinary thing, that. Because normally, you, you, the reason you have different uh, different areas is for different prices. So we're going to have a look around and see if they're... Hanging. Um, I'm loving these, uh, what, what my children would call tree tunnels. Uh, look absolutely amazing. Interesting uh, setup with the road here. Uh, with the textures there. Uh, but it's, it's a really pretty map, this. Really pretty map. We wanted to take that turning. Good thing we are in a landy. Head down here like so. And here we go. So here's our second animal dealer. So yeah, there are a lot of them here. Now let's see if uh, the sheep are at a different price in this one. Or whether it's just a case of you can go to any of these to buy... No, so they're all the same price. So there are six animal dealers that all run at the same price. I'm not sure I'm a huge fan of that. Um, to me, that's a little bit of waste of space on the map. Uh, if there's a reason for six animal dealers, uh, I'm, I'm intrigued. But I kind of think you could have put in some more cell points and or stuff like that. Or, or, or had this as a forest area. It, uh, it just seems a little bit odd to me to have so many animal dealers in a single map uh it's just yeah a little bit odd especially when they're not competing on prices as far as i can tell and we do yeah so we have another one in here and again I, i'm really loving these trees 
This see, this would be in a fantastic forestry area, I think, on the map, and being a nice large forestry area, you've got you've got another one, I think, on here, looking but uh, over by field two. But yeah, all these animal dealers don't really, th yeah, not really thinking that this is a uh, is a great. It's a gr it adds a lot. I don't think this adds a lot to the map. I think this is uh, maybe something of a missed opportunity. Now, there is a bit of an odd... Uh, we've got a couple of odd roads down here. So, we're, we're bearing off the roads quite a bit at the moment. Because I do want to... And here, running water. We're not that far from the river. And this looks like a dam or something like that, maybe. Maybe some hydroelectric power or something along those lines. Quite a deep river down here. Yeah, there we go. So, quite a long way down to that river. Makes me think that. Oh, wow. I was about to jump this. So, uh, quite a high thing of water here. I wonder how deep that goes. But we're going to walk around here and have a look because I would guess ah it's flowing that way interesting oh wow so nice set of steps here all the way down onto here which I'm guessing so that explains that that is the dam and we're doing a lot of this on foot at the moment because we've not got our uh, we've not got our, our landy down here. But that must be yes. Yeah. So we've got a dam, and then we're gonna jump over here. And we've got a powerhouse, and we must have a river coming off the bottom. So we'll see if we can work our way around to this from the other side. But that's pretty cool. I do like that. And so yeah, we have the river coming through there and it flowing out into this damned area here very interesting design on the map that is i'm liking that a lot and i'm loving these steps out of the wall here so you can walk around it it's a really scenic map this such a scenic map wow and i'm jumping railings i shouldn't and there you go that's pretty cool I like that a lot. So there's a lot more forestry area here, actually, than I was initially giving the map credit for. The trees from here, though, do look a tad uniform, uh, is uh, is my only issue with those, I think. When you're local, once you get close to them, doesn't seem so, so much. Um, although, yeah, they, they, they've not been all placed very symmetrically, so that's a good thing. Uh, but at a, certainly at a distance, it, it looks like that a bit. So we'll turn around and we'll get this moving again. And we shall head back up to the main road. So yeah, one thing I cannot fault this map on is it's wonderfully scenic. Uh, it, it looks incredible. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go through this animal uh, area because out the other side... Again, I'm not a huge fan of all these animal areas. Out the other side of this one, though, we have what looks like a horse area. Yeah, this is. This it looks like a dressage arena, in fact. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like that bit of detail. Uh, complete with full, uh, full stands and everything. So that's, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, again, <coughs> I think you could have had like a single, uh, a, a single animal market, single animal purchase point. I'm not. I am. I'm really not sure as to the functionality of six on this map. Why you would go to one over another? Uh, so across the bridge. And we come to our first field. So this is the first field we've actually come to on the map. Uh, <coughs> it looks uh, at the moment like it's just dirt. Wow. I, I like this because this looks completely unworked. It's definitely a field. Uh, it's marked on the map as field, but this has never been worked. So that is pretty cool.
I've not seen a map creator do that before, to be honest. To have fields that are just completely and utterly unworked. That is, uh, I do quite like that as a nice touch. Suggest that it's not been on here for a while. One thing about this land is this land you get squirrely if you go swiftly and turn hard. Uh, right around here. And interesting look here. Wow. That is really pretty. So this is uh, what must be a fairly big forestry area by the looks of things. Well, actually it's not. It's just the it's just sort of down the sides of this road. I do like that different texture on these though. That is really quite nice and really quite cool. As the, this map is a really beautiful map. Feels very enclosed as a map though as well, which I which I quite like. Um, I don't know how Spanish it actually is. So we have a fill point there. What is this? So this looks like... Is this a BGA of some description? That's very interesting. What's this labelled as? This is labelled as a factory. So it's not a BGA. It looks like a sell point though. Maybe. Yeah. I think this is a sell point. Interestingly. Wow. I'm wondering if it still takes silage though. Yeah, it does. Certainly seems to be... Um, certainly seems to take silage for the most part. Now, that is intriguing. Uh, field 15 is below us here. Uh, which is, again, interesting. Looks like it's covered in trees. So we're going to have a quick scoot down to that and have a look at that in a minute. We will go over the price of the fields and things uh, at the end of the video. We've missed the turning to it. And that is the river. So there's a turning off at this corner to this field. To field 16. You could get lost in this map so easily. Wow, I wouldn't like to try and get a combine down that. Again, completely unworked field, full of trees. So you've got to, before you can work field 16, uh, you, you've got to cut all the trees down. That's, there's some really interesting stuff going on on this map. This map seems to me... Uh, to be pushing the boundaries a bit of uh, of what farm sim is, because that's also not an entrance. That's not a that's not a normal entrance that's on that field. So certainly they're trying to do something different with this map, and I like that. Uh, we have the river going across the sides here. That's really nice. And then if we head up this way. Now, if I turn down that way, that is going to take us uh, down the centre of the map towards the main farm. We want to go and have a look in the town. Uh, we actually, to the north of us at the moment, we've got the sawmill. So we want to pop into there. But yeah, that will take us down to the main farm. We're going to work our way to the main farm at the end of this. So lots of big gates. I'm kind of wondering if this is one of those maps where the gates close at a certain time. There we go. So we've got a sawmill here. Uh, cell point. Nice big cell point for uh, the wood chips. Uh, what else do we have? We have a... Um, must be a cell point. Yeah, there we go. Cell point for the actual logs. Liking the design of this wood yard. Um, yeah, nice and different design to this. Now... I'm thinking, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if the fields on this map are all unworked. Because, again, field 15 here to our right. Um, an unworked field. Absolutely nothing to it at all. Which is, which is intriguing. I kind of wonder... We had to zoom in on this map, unfortunately. I kind of wonder if 
there is this, uh, whether there are any contracts on this map. And I do want to check that as well, actually. Uh, so we've got the Leddy store in there. That's not a sell point, but it is a, uh, a supermarket. Um, we have um, what looks like an old grain yard there. In here, we've got a cash machine. We also have fuel, so we can fill our vehicle up here. Uh, we've got another route out. Heading to Castella de Lille. Yeah, lots. Really nicely detailed town. Again, even the town feels a little bit claustrophobic. Uh, in the, the trees kind of create this this feeling of, uh, of being um, enclosed. Which is, I, I love that. I really do. And it's a quite a detailed town as well. Now, there is a route. Ah, the road is up here. So we'll take a turn in here. A, a small niggle with the road textures. I don't think the road textures are that great. Um, it does look a little bit jagged. I don't know how I get to this cell point, though. Because it's not down this road. Big bump on this. There we go. Engage uh, the uh, Diflox. I'm so pleased that I put the. Uh, uh, I'm so pleased that I put that on. The enhanced vehicle mod to do this. So, yeah, there is a cell point down here. I do want to just go and find that. This is going to be quite a long video because we're only halfway through the actual uh, map. And we're, we're already about 17 minutes in. So, I have turned down here into this residential area. We have a cell point around the back of here, by the looks of things. Yeah, there it is. Now, what that is a cell point for from just being here, I could not tell you. So that's rather interesting. What does it list it on as here? This lists it as the cake shop. What do you, what would you take to the cake shop? I would have thought you'd have taken flour. Maybe that's maybe that's a, a transport mission point. Maybe there are transport missions in this. We will have a look at that. By the time we finish going around the map, we should have a good idea as to where, where, how much of this map is available on contract. I get the feeling it's not a whole lot. Uh, we have another cell point around the back here. So we'll head around here and have a look. And that's in... Ooh, well, it is in here. Uh, and this is the uh, nursery garden that has a cell point. There is so many trees here. I honestly, I honestly don't know if this is a uh, a good example of northern northern Spain. To be honest, it is a beautiful map though. Not a not a huge amount of fields, and we'll go over the map in a minute. Um, uh, the actual uh, PDA in a minute. Uh, we have the shop there, so this is the purchase point for vehicles. Is in there uh, M3. I think I think that is that may be the FS13 one. Now there's a road around the top there that looks interesting in the way that it's could just be a tunnel going round maybe. Doesn't seem to go anywhere. Yeah, there is. Oh, wow. Okay, I do have to go around this because this is pretty cool. Completely pointless. I have to be honest. Absolutely pointless, this uh, tunnel. First time I've seen a tunnel in a map, though, like this. There's nothing on top of that at all. <laughs> I, actually, that would be... There's a lot of frivolousness in this map. It's There's a lot of it that... that has very little to no function on it which is which is odd if I'm honest 
I, I it's it's one of those things that that makes me think uh, the map could have been a little bit tighter, a little bit a little bit more focused in a couple areas. Uh, as I said, as I said repeatedly on here, it is an utterly beautiful map, but yeah. It does feel in places a little bit unfocused. There's a lot of attention to detail that's gone into it. It's probably the best way of putting it. Uh, we have a cell point. Uh, we have two cell points down there, actually. So we do need to pop down that. So popping it down here. Again. Trees everywhere. The number of trees on this map is incredible. And I think I think they might all be the same tree uh, tree model as well, which thankfully this tree model looks less uniform. But uh, and there has been a certain amount of rotation and things in in place in the trees, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, it's it does seem to be the same tree model. Now that is a cell point in here. Yeah, there we go. Good sell point in here. Uh, this is the grain trader. Looks like a uh, looks like a railway hub, to be honest. I think a little bit, but uh, yeah. Then we'll head out of here and around to here. It is. Uh, I've got very mixed. If I'm honest, I've got very mixed feelings about this map at the moment. It's got, it's got a lot of big pluses to it. I believe it has extra crops as well. And we'll check that out in a minute. Uh, so this is another cell point. Uh, it's around the back here. That is... Where is this cell point? Is that our cell point? That is the cell point. So that's a slurry cell point maybe. What is this? This is the oh, that's a milk cell point, is what that is. So yeah, this is where you sell your milk at the dairy. Now, can we get? We can head down the middle of the map. I think what we might do. Um, I'm very tempted to head down the middle of the map to. Whoa! I need to pay attention on where where I'm on the road. So yeah, we're gonna head down the middle of the map at this point. There's more for us to look at down the middle of the map than down the uh, than down the right hand side, uh, but we are going to have to uh, double back. I don't think so, actually. I think we'll be better off turning around. Ah, our first field with some uh, stuff in field five. Cannot get to from here. You've got to go down and around the other bits. So I'm going to turn around. We are going to go down the uh, the side of the map down by field 9 and 10. Field 9 and 10, again, strike me way as two fields that you do end up uh, having to cut trees out of. I think that's, yeah, field 8 is also a field that is planted. So there are some planted fields, so there are fields which could have uh, contracts on, uh, and hopefully by the time we get there uh, we will see that And heading up and around. I do quite like the sound of the last this land over. And passing field seven on the side there. Again, that looks like it might be filled in with uh, trees. I can't go and inspect every field, unfortunately. Uh, looks like we have another show jumping arena or horse riding area or something like that over that way. Uh, can I? Yeah, I can. This is where our stables are, actually. So we can have a quick pop in here. It is a really scenic map. So the one one place I cannot fault this, this map is in its scenery and in its look. It, it just looks absolutely amazing. And utterly beautiful. Open both gates. Yeah, there's a lot of detail work that's gone into this map. Um, 
I, and actually, for the first time ever, for the first time ever in doing a first look on a farm sim map, I might actually be tempted to say I think too much detail has gone into this map. That detail at the expense of wow, this is a huge horse area. Um, at the expense of uh, functionality in some cases. So a perfect example of that uh, is the, the multiple animal dealers. I would have said that's unnecessary, but is but I think they're in there for detail reasons rather than functional reasons. As in the map creator wanted to have wanted to have multiple um, uh, multiple uh, animal markets. Um, whether that made a difference to gameplay or not. Uh, which, yeah, is, is a pity, I think. Ah! Uh, this is the main yard. I kind of don't want to be going through this. We want to finish up here in a bit. Uh, so we will come back to this. Quite how I get out of here without going through the main yard, I don't know. We've got more town and stuff we can head down here. This is... This is so much to this map. There's an incredible amount to this map. Wait, I ain't hit in the face by a gate there. So this is... I don't, I don't know quite what to make of this map, to be honest. As I said, there is so much to it, and there's, and we're, I mean, we're in the yard at the moment, and again, we still got all of these low-hanging trees and all this set up. I'm not sure. Yeah, this is not a map that particularly appeals to me. I have to be honest. It's. I I feel at this point, having driven around it this much, um, I'm feeling a little bit claustrophobic in it. I'm feeling a little bit like I can't see enough of it. As beautiful as it is, I can't see uh, enough of the map at any given time. And to the point where I am so totally lost right now. I thought I could end up here uh, going down the middle of the map. I could never have. It is just... Wow. Wow. This is insane, this yard. That's not even the main yard. It just, there is so much to this. And I'm looking at the map. I don't think we can get out south of it either. We've got to come back this way. Uh, so we're, we're actually not going to finish in the main yard. Because if I don't look at the main yard now, we're going to have to do so much backtracking. Uh, that it becomes pointless. So, uh, yeah. I've really misunderstood this map. And with good reason, I think. Well, let's open both of these. So, this is the main house, by the looks of things. Uh, also, uh, location of the chickens around here. So, that's the chicken pen. Uh, we seem to have a slurry tank at the side there. This, oh, this map is crazy. This really is. I think this is. I think this is an animal map more than anything. Uh, the limited number of fields would certainly suggest that. Uh, we're in new farmer, so we've got equipment. We have no barns to speak of. Interestingly, I mean, do these open? No. So the barns. These barns. Oh, no, they do. But that's a grain store, is what that is. So, yeah, no proper barns to speak of at the moment. I'm I'm so... I'm actually confused by this map. Which is amazing. Yeah, these are all grain stores. But we have a grain silo down the bottom. There we go. That would certainly seem to suggest these are grain stores. Maybe not. Maybe these are barns. But interestingly, none of the equipment, none of the starter equipment is located in these barns. Yeah. I'd say no barns to speak of, and then I go and open three. 
It's just... Wow. I, I'm spending a huge amount of time in the yard. I thought I would. But I just... Wow. So this is the cow area back here. So that's, that's our cow barn. This is definitely a map you want to do animals on. I hate to think how much this yard costs though. Oh. <laughs> but this is this is nuts this map. This really is. And I'm I know I'm I'm unsure as to whether that's in a good way or not. That's just Wow. Field 4 has a big square... Oh, it's got a big square patch in it for a tree. Yeah, I would never have suspected that I got to the main yard uh, down this way. That is... That is all kinds of amazing. Uh, yeah, so Field 9, as I suspected, is a field full of trees. Uh, so if you want to work that, you're going to have to... Uh, you're going to have to cut all the trees down. Same goes for Field 10. I just, I cannot get over the scenery on this map. I, I, I have driven around it enough at this point to know this is not a map for me. To, to know that this is not a map that that I personally want to play. Um, however, I can see the appeal of it. I really can. Oh, it's... I'm almost left speechless by this. And, and, and I can't even say why. Uh, so there's another cell point down the bottom here. This one is the spinnery. Interesting. So looks like you drop your cotton and your wool off on a grate. For, uh, to sell at the spinnery. Now that again, that to me is a slightly mad choice. Because to me, the cake shop... So the cake shop, I would expect a grape. Because I'd expect you to be dropping stuff off. Um, you know, grain and stuff. Um, the spinnery, I would expect to not be a grape. But it is. So that's intriguing. Head down here. Field 12 looks like an interesting one. Uh, what is that? That is... What is going on with Field 12? Okay. Okay, so field 12. Again, unworked field. Uh, looks like it's a former farm or something like that. So if you're starting doing starts for scratch, actually. Field 12, good choice for building a smaller farmyard than that sprawling massive thing at the centre of the map. Again, more... Uh, another lake... I, j I cannot get over this map. We're, we're 35 minutes into recording this. And I'm just... I am gobsmacked by this map. I, you can see... You can see the five years that has gone into it. So, cell point out the back here. This one is uh, the sugar factory. So, this will should take sugar beet, I think. Nice to see a separate sugar beet uh, cell point, hopefully. But we will go through and we'll check if the sugar factory does take sugar beet. Oh, it might take sugar cane as well. That would be quite cool. There we go. And head Round here and out. And then one last one here. Which is our cell point for uh, forage. Certainly called foragers. So, wow, that is 
really, really quite an insane map. I am, uh, I am ooh, I left a little bit speechless on this map. I don't think we can get back to our farm uh, or the main farm this way. We will just give that a quick try. So up here. There might be something down the side of field 11. So that takes you to field 3. That's field 11 there. Can we get up the side? No, I don't think we can. I think I, I think that, that up there is where we want to be. And we're just unable to make that. You have got to go all the way around. Wow. There is uh, there is no way around it. That's uh, that's. Well, it certainly makes this map feel bigger. Uh, we're going to pull into field seventeen here, which is concrete. So that's an interesting thing. Oh, actually, we'll pull into here, and we'll finish. Actually, that's what we'll do. We'll finish on top of the dam. Why not? We can drive onto it. So there we go. That is uh, that is quite an amazing map. I am really quite gobsmacked by that. That is immense. So let's have a look at what we start with in the garage. So we have here uh, in our garage. Uh, the Land Rover, of course, we added. We have a Fent Favorite 511C um, and a Lizard pickup. That's it. Okay. Uh, we have a SEC uh, 802 trailer, a Salford four, uh, 4204 plow, a Polymag 300 cultivator, a D830 um, cedar, uh, a Coon Deltis 1302 MTA3 sprayer. A Breedle K105 fertilizer spreader. Uh, a, uh, an Agco weight. Uh, large grain silo for tubers. So that is for, um, uh, for potatoes. And uh, I'm guessing that that, yes. Sugar cane, potatoes and uh and sugar beet. Uh, large grain silo takes everything. And we've got that in as well. A fuel tank. Uh, several barns. So it looks like actually that farm disappears. It's all placeables. Even the gates are placeables. Wow. Uh, that's a water tank that we saw in the yard. So that's interesting. Uh, and the uh, main house. So that's not a lot of equipment that you start this map with. I'm... Wow. That is... There's no uh, no mowers and no combine in that. Which is... Uh, which I find weird. I just... That just sort of sums up this map to me. It's a weird set of equipment to start with. Uh, and then, uh, what we got? Total number of fields. I think we saw 17. Yes, 17, I think, is the highest field we have. Uh, prices range from... Uh, so, I think 17 is actually the smallest. No, 14 is the smallest. Uh, 14 is the smallest at 32,292. So, you could add extra fields. The main area... Oh my, so the main farm complex with all that huge stuff is 1.2 million. If you start this map on start from scratch, you're not going to buy the main farm for a very, very long time. You've got bits like field 12, which is uh, 73,000 and field 13, which is 69,000. So there are fields you can buy, but the fields are all pretty small. So unless you're starting a new farmer, you are going to be working a lot of fields before you do that. I think field six is probably the next biggest field. And that's 338. So there's nothing over half a million on the rest of this map. Most of the map. The other thing is, 
only uh, it, it's uh, you can tell it's been a uh, uh, one that's been developed on an old version, uh, you know, really far back version. You can only buy fields. You can buy individual fields. Uh, you can't buy areas on the map. And in fact, yeah, there is no BGA to be purchased or anything like that. So I'm intrigued to see how that works. 17, actually, we do have one area that's purchasable that has more than one field in its purchase. And that is field one. Field one and 17 are purchased together to 250. So again, insane setup. It's it's an absolutely nuts map, this. Really is. Now, the other thing I've heard about this map is it has extra... Um, extra options as far as stuff goes. And yes, it does. Um, I think that's Rye. Is that... That's Rye, and I'm not sure what that is. Um, but yeah, we definitely have extra... Uh, extra stuff here which is intriguing and then we got extra animal stuff so i'm not sure as exactly what it doesn't list on the uh on the mod hub page what these extra bits are i know one of them is rye um but it's wow this is such an odd map this is a really really weird map i have n i am not sure what to make of it um if you guys want to have a look and want to check this out for yourself, uh, please do. It is available by, by the drop of the from the Giants Mod Hub. It is the modder's name is Alberto. Um, but I'm I'm. This is not a map for me. Uh, if I'm honest, uh, not a map for me. I don't think I could effectively play this. Um, uh, go check it out though. It is weird. It is worth having that look at because it is an odd, odd map um, and uh, well worth your time, I think, to, to check it out. Even if you check it out and go, yeah, this not, map's not for me either. Um, it's, uh, yeah, as I said, currently available PC Mac. Should be available on console again next week once the 1.4 update is out. Uh, it is RDC FS19 um, by Alberto. So go check it out. Um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm all over the place with this map. It is the weirdest map I think I have ever done a first look on. It is just, it's thrown me for six. Um, for now though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and I will see you next time. Goodbye.